Hello, my name is Alex Granados. I'm senior reporter for Education NC, and this is your weekly wrap back by popular demand. It's been a while, but the last time you saw one of our weekly wraps, it did take place here in the General Assembly, and things were busy. As you can see, they're not as busy now, and in fact, not much that happened to Education NC this week had to do with the General Assembly, but nevertheless, we were busy. On Monday, you may have seen that uh, I had a podcast that I did with Trip Stallings from the Friday Institute. We explored the importance of data and education. I would check that out if that's a subject that you're interested in. Uh, I also had an article out this week on EVOS. This is the uh, system that was designed by the SAS Institute and used by the state uh, to determine things like growth measures for teachers and schools around the state. Uh, this has important implications for things like the school performance grades, the so-called A through F grades. So I would definitely read that. It is sort of everything you ever wanted to know about EVOS, but we're afraid to ask. Uh, Liz Bell, my fellow reporter, and myself uh, were kind of around the state trying to cover some education topics. Uh, Liz was up in Newton covering a debate between uh, uh, Terry Stoops, Chris Nordstrom, and uh, some legislators on things like merit pay. Uh, there was an article earlier this week. I would check that out if you're interested. And uh, I was at Duke University covering a talk by Jonathan Kozel. He is uh, an acclaimed writer on education topics, and in, in particular, talks a lot about things like um, the inequalities in the public education system. We have a busy week coming up next week. The uh, legis Joint Legislative Committee on uh, School Funding Reform is going to be meeting on Wednesday. That's something that you don't want to miss. And uh, there'll be plenty of other things to check out if you go to ednc.org. You can follow me at A Granadister on Twitter. And you can follow Liz Bell at Liz A Bell on Twitter as well, and of course Education NC is on Facebook. Go there to find all the news you missed.